In this video, I'll show you how to make subtitles fade in and fade out in Subtitle Edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David, and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. I'll be using Subtitle Edit 3.6.4 to make our subtitles fade in and out. And probably this is an effect that you might want when you're creating subtitles. Even if that's not the case, maybe that is, this is a learning experience for you. So I have Subtitle Edit open, and what I need now is just to add my video and my subtitles. Uh, but if you are creating subtitles inside Subtitle Edit, you'll need to add uh, the fade in effect. So let's go to Video, Open Video File, and navigate to the folder with the video you want to have or you have subtitles to. Let's click on Open, and then navigate to the file, Open Keep Video, to get the subtitles that you want to add a fade in and fade out effect to. So just click on that. And uh, once you do that, what we have here is just an SRT subtitle file. Uh, it's pretty basic, uh, but now we want to add a fade, uh, a fade in and fade out effect. To do that, you'll need to change the format of the subtitle from a subrip to advanced substation alpha ASS subtitle. Just click on that. And you're going to get these particular options. Now, if I just right click on one subtitle, go to ASSA tools, you'll see the option called fade. So from this particular fade, you can just click on that. And what you get is an ASSA fade and the fade uh, in milliseconds, uh, fade in, fade out, and also apply to selected lines. If we want uh, the fade in to only be on this line, then it's going to be on the selected line. So you can select different lines where you want to have the fade in and fade out effect, let's say for different speakers in your videos, ETC. You can select all lines uh, so that it can apply to all lines. Or you can also do advanced selections where you actually uh, set uh, the style based on the actor, uh, either the default, and then you can just pick from here uh, what you want uh, to work with. Let's say if we go with the actor, there's nothing there, but if you go with the style and select the default, then you can check and uncheck whatever uh, subtitle lines you want to have the fade in and fade out effect. So uh, let's just cancel this and then say all lines. Uh, and we've already set in our time. This is just like half a second fade, which is 500 millisecond. Just click on OK. And once we click on OK, You'll see this code added to all the subtitles. Uh, parentheses uh, is more or less like a backward slash FAD into brackets, uh, 500, comma 500, and, and so on and so forth. And it goes on till the end of the video. So what happens is, let's actually just uh, roll it back, control Z. We just remove the fade in and fade out effect. If I play the subtitle, just click on play. You'll notice that the subtitles do play but they're just changing. There's no fade in or fade out. But when we go back and add the fade effect inside the ASSA tools, and then say all lines, and then click on OK, uh, once we play our video, let's just play, the subtitle will fade in and fade out, fade in and fade out, and so on and so forth. Maybe that's a look that you're looking for. And once we're done, obviously, we'll need to burn in our subtitles to a video so that we can preserve whatever a style that we have. So we just go up to video, generate video with banding subs. And since uh, this is an ASSA style, there is nothing to change here like the font and whatnot. Uh, so we'll just come in to generate. And then let's add like a fade in and out. Just click on save and uh, our format is going to be MP4. Just click on save and the video will start generating uh, with the subtitles band in. So let's wait for that so that we can see if you're actually going to achieve the fade in and fade out effect to our subtitles. This may be an effect that you're looking to achieve or just spice up your content or your subtitles in your video, maybe based on the speakers who are speaking. I think this is something that you can use, try it out and see how good maybe your audience appreciates that. But let us wait and see uh, in just a couple of seconds the effect that we're going to get. Uh, so just a second, three, two, one, and it's done. Open containing folder, just click on that. We'll just navigate to the folder with a particular subtitle, band into the video, just double click. I'll pause it a little bit. Now let me play it. 
With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download. You'll see the fade in and the fade out effect. Looks pretty good. Just make sure you choose a good font and maybe uh, some different aspects to the font, maybe the outline and all that, so that the subtitles are easily visible and all that. But that is how you make subtitles fade in and fade out in subtitle edit. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.